Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to filter a list in ServiceNow. This video is for the people who are new to ServiceNow UI or they have switched to next experience of ServiceNow and they are confused on how to to filter a list. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardit Singh and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I will quickly go to ServiceNow UI and show you that. We are using the latest next experience of ServiceNow. I will go to a list here. I can type incident and then under incident, I will click on all. This will give me the list of all the incidents which are present in this ServiceNow instance. And as you can see, there are around 1100 incidents in this ServiceNow instance. Now in this new UI experience, you will see a filter button here on the top left. You just have to click on this and this filter list will automatically appear here. Now you have to choose the field on which you want to apply the filter. For example, I want to see all the incidents which are assigned to service desk assignment group. So I selected the assignment group. I chose the operator as is and I will give the name of the assignment group here. If you notice here, this is a reference field. So you will not be able to type any random value here. The value should exist in the assignment group table. I will click on run and you would see all the incidents which are assigned to this assignment group, which is service desk. So there are around 1000 incidents to go back to the previous filter where I was able to see all the incidents. I will click on all here and the filter will be removed automatically. The other way to apply the same filter provided by ServiceNow is you can go ahead and right click on the value on which you want to apply the filter. So under assignment group column, I see the service desk value is there or the service desk assignment group is there. I will right click on this and I can click on show matching and it will automatically apply that filter. We are able to see around 1000 incidents which are assigned to service desk. I will click the filter icon again here and now if you want to apply some other filter, for example, I will click on and and then I can say active is true. Similarly, I can add more filters here. Category is inquiry or help and maybe I can apply the filter on short description also. Now, if you note or if you have noticed in the past, short description is a free text field. So I'm not getting a reference field here. So I can choose the operator which I want. Starts with, contains, does not contain, is. So is is exactly the name should be same of the short description. So I can maybe give an example contains email. So all the incidents which are assigned to service desk are active true and have category as inquiry help and short description contains email, they will appear here. So there are 1064 incidents which meet this criteria. One other thing which I would want you to note is if you want to remove a filter which is in between all of these breadcrumbs. So you can go ahead and hover your mouse on the greater than sign and the condition which you want to remove will be highlighted as striked out and if I click on this, this particular filter will be removed. And if you saw that category has been removed. Now we have other option to save this filter. I will click on filter again and you would see here there is a save option. I will click on save and I will save it as a name. So I will give name here maybe Hardeth filter and it should be visible to me, to everyone or a group. If I select group, I would be able to select a group name. Right now, I will keep it as myself and save this. And as soon as I click save, the filter is saved. So how to access that filter which I just saved? You just have to go to these three lines which are on the left hand corner. Click on this, click on filters and you would be able to see your filter. And we are on this page. We already have applied this Hardit filter and that is the reason it is showing as check mark. If I go back, for example, I click on all and then I want to apply the same filter. I will again click on this, click on filter and select Hardit filter and the same filter will be applied again. One other interesting feature which was introduced in next experience. So if you don't have the next experience, you wouldn't be able to see this functionality or use this functionality. On the top, you would see a star here next to incidents. And if I click on this, it will add the favorite automatically. You can name it as Hardit favorite incidents. 
and automatically this favorite would be added into your favorites list. I will click on favorites and you would see here Hardit favorite incidents. I will click on this and I will be redirected here. Finally, I want to show you one other option. If I right click on this, we had used this show matching few minutes ago. We can also filter out. So if I don't want to see the incidents which are assigned to service desk, I can use this filter out option. If I click on filter out, it will show me none because I had put a condition here of assignment group is equal to service desk and here I'm saying it shouldn't be equal to service desk. Let me try removing this particular filter where assignment group equals to service desk and we would see there are three incidents which match this condition. I hope this video was helpful to you and you learned something new and definitely how to filter lists and what are the different ways to do that. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button and thanks for watching the video till the end.